Well, as the country prepares to mark the anniversary of the deadly January 6th assault on the Capitol, there's a new warning tonight from the Department of Homeland Security, FBI, and Capitol Police. This new Joint Intelligence Bulletin says threat actors will try to exploit the anniversary to promote or possibly commit violence, although they say there is no credible threat at this hour. CBS's Nicole Killian reports tonight on the sharply divided views of the American public one year later. Tonight, the Capitol buried in a blanket of white, preparing to mark one of the darkest days in U.S. history. <laughs> Nearly a year since the insurrection, a new CBS News poll found the country is still divided, with 85% of Democrats calling it just that, while roughly half of Republicans said it was patriotism and defending freedom. Two-thirds of respondents said democracy is under threat and fear more political violence. In terms of uh, democracy being healed, it feels like we're even more uh, divided than we've ever been. Republican like Congressman Adam Kinzinger sits on the House Select Committee investigating the attack, which will resume hearings this winter. What we can do is give the American people a full accountability. Panel members say they have a growing body of evidence that multiple people reached out to former President Trump, including his daughter Ivanka, to urge him to intervene to stop the violence. The committee has firsthand testimony that uh, President Trump was sitting in the dining room next to the Oval Office watching on television as the Capitol was assaulted, mm -hmm. as the violence uh, occurred. The panel isn't ruling out a criminal referral for the former president or additional subpoenas to lawmakers as part of its probe. The Justice Department is also ramping up prosecutions of the more than 725 individuals who have been arrested. 165 have pleaded guilty, though only 31 have been sentenced to jail time. Some House Republicans are downplaying former President Trump's role and dismiss the committee's work as partisan. An observance is planned here at the Capitol Thursday, where President Biden will speak. Nora? Nicole Killian, thank you.